Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily check-in for Saturday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And we're going to bring in the Divine Structure Deck for the question today to really see what we need to focus on. And I have done earlier today in both the feminine and the masculine readings a little bonus pick a pile at the end of those readings about health and healing. So if you are going through anything physically today and you would like any extra guidance, make sure you check both of those readings out. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So let's connect with the structure deck and see what we need to know straight out. Wow, quite a few cards coming out today then. So the first question is salty cross. So I'm going to do a salty cross to answer whatever is coming through today. So we've got what's challenging the connection. So what's blocking the connection? Well, obviously doing a salty cross answers that anyway. We can find out what the blocks are, what the fears are, what the struggles are. We've also got Aries energy. So Aries energy is about fast paced power action, desire, fire, making things happen, movement and power and flow coming into the connection. We've also got cancer energy. Wow. So there could be an Aries cancer connection here. Really resonates with me on my journey because my twin George is an Aries and I'm a cancer, but I feel this is the energy gaining momentum from the energy of March to where we are right now operating in cancer energy. And that's what's being created, power, passion, purpose, and what's affecting the divine masculine right now. What's affecting the masculine's energy and how do others see your connection? So we're going to do a salty cross spread to connect with this, very powerful. So I'm going to bring in the signs from Spirit Love Oracle and I'm going to shuffle the deck and I'm going to answer the questions as if this is a tarot deck and I'm doing a tarot reading. So I'm going to split the deck into three and this is the deck here and I'm going to pull off the top and I'm going to answer all the questions in a salty cross. So how do others see the connection, what's affecting the masculine, what's being created and what's challenging the connection between Aries and Cancer energy and Moving forward, I'll be doing both an Aries and a Cancer reading, so watch this space, okay? Really powerful as well. Just a little extra bonusy, you know, if you are an Aries and a Cancer connection, big sign about union ahead. Feminine energy is to go with the flow, masculine energy is to make things happen. So remember that fire and water actually do go together because that's the energy of me and George. So... How do others see the connection? What's affecting the masculine? What's being created? And what's challenging things? So the first energy is tidal wave disturbance. So there is some disturbances taking place right now. So if I was going to connect this card with the tarot, this would be the tower because in the journey, chaos takes place. And other people see that happening too. You know, other people may see disturbances in your mind, you know, may see disturbances in your vibration, in your light. So people in your life may say to you, what's going on with you? You know, you don't seem yourself or you feel disturbed by something. And that can also be a challenge that comes into the connection. Other people, third parties, people you know, observing the journey from their perspective and trying to get involved. And what's affecting the masculine is disturbance, change, chaos. But that's creating the way. So what's being created from the disturbance is pretty special. This is about big changes ahead. We've also got lightning storms there as well. We've all been experiencing lightning. There's been storm energy around as well, chaos. Maybe there's been some big waves where you are. Maybe you've seen a tsunami somewhere in a film or somewhere in the world and it's created destruction. So things come in to destroy things, to create things. An ending creates a new beginning. So what may be struggling with or what may be in the way is a Roman memory. So other people see that you have a past, that you have a past with this person. Or that you are constantly reminded of this person. They're on your mind. You want to create memories with them. And sometimes the memories can create challenges because we go over the past. You know, we go over how things used to be. 
and we remember that and if that's painful it can affect the future because we're constantly going over it in our mind so that can affect the divine masculine because they can also think about the things they regret and the things they need to change but the memories also create the way for a new beginning so what's being created is also new memories a new aroma on this journey new fragrances to be smelt and felt so big change is taking place between now, you know, and whenever the energy of union comes in for you. So what you need to be aware of today is that there's a force greater than anything connecting you and changing things and creating the way and removing obstacles. So really the hammer is a bit like Thor's hammer, the hammer or the force of the angels, the archangels such as Archangel Michael creating the way removing things so other people see that there's a force greater than anything they've ever seen before keeping you together bringing you back together it's a force beyond space and time so this is a force that's destiny this is something wonderful and it can be challenging when this force comes in because sometimes we're afraid to step out of the way and let the universe step in and the masculines have been affected by this force because they feel a change. And that's what's being created. Very powerful. So coming into the immediate future, we've got eyes revealing. So other people see that things are being revealed right now. Things are coming out into the open. That you may be revealing things to them about your journey. And you see in your eyes what's going on and they see it in your eyes so what's affecting the masculine is your eyes they don't want to see pain in your eyes they don't want to see you cry they don't want to see you hurting and that can challenge the connection because they may say things to you like move on with someone else because they're afraid of seeing that hurt in your eyes but things are being revealed the truth is coming out the eyes are the windows of the soul and you're able to see through the illusion of fear so what's being created is also what's being seen with the eyes, the previews of what's to come, the vision of the future, being aware not only with your physical eyesight, but with your third eye too. And the veil, hidden, things that are hidden are coming to light. So others may see your connection as hidden, your connection as being behind closed doors. And they may not understand why you love this person. But the things that are hidden are being revealed and that's what's been challenging the connection. These things are coming out into the open. What's being created is the way to bring things forth and that's affecting the masculine because they don't want to hide things from you. And we've got milk, nourishment. So the way forward is to nourish yourself and what other people see is that you do give back to you, that you're in more self aware person now that you give more that you're more loving and kind and gentle because of this connection and what may be challenging the connection is you may not be receiving what you feel you need so you're being guided to give that back to yourself and it affects the masculines because they know they have to fill themselves up and fill up their own cup to be able to give back to you and that's what's being created so the way that you see it is dominance and horns so this is about taking control back. You know that you're taking your power back and your control. Other people may think that you're being dominated, that you're being controlled in some way. Other people may think that that's affecting you in a negative way, but you know you're taking back control. And what's challenging the connection is actually growing the connection. It's making you stronger. What's affecting the masculine is they know that they need to take control and take the lead. And that's what's being created. The way that they see it is that the smoke and visions. And that's also other people may see things that it's not real or it's just a fantasy or a vision. And that's because they are seeing it from their perspective through the smoke. They can't see it the way you do. So that can challenge the connection because you may feel why don't people see what I see? Why can't they understand from my perspective or my point of view? And that's affecting the masculine because they don't want to hurt you in any way. So they're having a vision of what they want and that's actually creating the way forward. So they are sending you a smoke signal that tells you the truth. And the hope or fear is that this is moving forward. 
and it can cause fear too because it's scary we think wow you know and this is everything i want you get excited about it you feel warm and enthused about it but you can also be a little bit in fear about what's next so other people see you as very excited about things a very warm being that you're creating abundance in your life and you have a lot of enthusiasm about what you do it and that you are a very independent strong person and that's moving things forward. So the masculines are actually feeling excited about what's next. They're feeling your warmth and love. And what's really being created is that the roles are reversing. So the feminine takes the step back and the masculine takes the step forward. That's what's being created a new way and you are protected. So other people will see that your journey is protected. When there is a delay, it's protected. Remember what's challenging the connection is actually a protection and what's being created is for the role to reverse. So you can operate in your power and feel aligned with love. So what's affecting the masculine right now is they know that they need to step up and take the lead and move things forward. So I'm seeing this as the masculine taking control and making things happen and the feminine going with the flow. And that's the energy that's really come in and moved us forward through the airy season towards the cancer season to move things ahead. And that's what you need to know. So later on today, I'm going to be doing an Aries reading and then we're going to do a Cancer reading to connect with the energy of where we are too. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.